Hello, University of Colorado faculty. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use Camtasia Relay to record and upload videos to YouTube. First, you go to relay.colorado.edu. Then, you'll log in with your identity key, username, and password. After that, under Camtasia Relay Recorders, you'll click the download icon. You only need to do this once to install the software on your computer. Camtasia Relay supports Mac OS X 10.4, 10.5, Windows XP, and Vista. I'm using Vista, so I'm going to select the download Vista icon. I've already downloaded this and saved on my desktop. I'll pull it up now. So, then you'll just install Camtasia Relay as you would any other application on your computer. If you're using Mac, you'd extract the Camtasia Relay software to your Applications folder. Once the installation is complete, it will launch Camtasia Relay for you. If you want to access it later, you can pull it up from the Camtasia Relay icon on your desktop. Now, every time you open the Camtasia Relay recorder, it'll ask you to log in with your identity key, username, and password. Now, when you're ready to start a recording, select your profile. This is important. Make sure you select the direct upload to YouTube option. Please note that it has a 10 minute maximum. YouTube does not allow us to host, us host videos longer than 10 minutes. Camtasia Relay will allow you to record videos longer than 10 minutes. So please pay attention to your time because if you submit a video that's longer than 10 minutes, you'll get an email notification saying that it failed and you'll have to start over again. So after you select your profile, you want to type in a title. And then it's not required by Camtasia Relay, but I would suggest it because it helps people to uh, find your videos easier. Now, I don't have a microphone plugged into this computer that I'm doing the demonstration on, but if I did, you'd see a volume level here when I was speaking. You can adjust that using the volume slider. You'll see that when you talk, it will go up between green, yellow, or red. You want to make sure you keep it at the green. You don't want it to go up into the yellow or the red. Once you're ready, you can hit record. Now Camtasia Relay is recording anything I do on my desktop. If I open an application, this will be in the recording. Once I'm done recording, I can double click the relay icon down in the system tray. I can pause or I can hit stop. You can also adjust the volume of your microphone and look at how much hard drive space you have free or how much hard drive space you have remaining for this recording. Since I'm done, I'm going to click the stop button. This will bring up the Camtasia Relay review window. From here, you can watch the video you just recorded, make sure it meets your standards. If you need to cut some parts out, you can use the trimming option. So I'm going to cut out that beginning part where there wasn't much to see. In order to do that, I'll drag the slider to where I want the video to start. We'll start it right about here. And then I will drag the video slider to where I want it to end. We'll drag it right about there. That looks good. This part is the only part that will get submitted to YouTube. Please note, again, that the 10 minutes is the maximum. You can see here how long your recording was overall. And then you can see how long the section is that you selected to submit. You can make changes of the title or description. Once you're ready to submit, you can hit the Submit button. The re recording will upload in the background to the Camtasia Relay server, which then in turn will upload it to YouTube. So, you may be asking yourself now, what do I do if I made a mistake and uploaded a bad video, or a video I don't want, or I want to replace it? Well, right now, since we run the YouTube account, you'll have to contact us in order to delete the video. You can send an email to help at kate.colorado.edu. That's help at C-A-E 
te.colorado.edu. Well, good luck and happy recording.